Hello everybody, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I made this side table using only two 2x4s two for the Modern Maker Podcast Challenge. I rough cut the timber to length to make it easier to handle at the table saw and thicknesser. I then ran all the pieces through the table saw to knock off the rounded edges. Then set up a stop block on your miter saw and cut 12 pieces at 310mm with a 30 degree angle on each side. Be careful when cutting that you flip the board 180 degrees after each cut. I then sanded all 12 pieces up to 220 grit. This will make it easier in the end when you can't get into those tight corners of the triangle. Now it's time to glue up the triangles. There should be four in total. I use blue tape to hold all the pieces together. glue it dried I came back and drilled holes for dowels. This makes the joint stronger and gives the piece a little bit more visual appeal. A little tip for you to speed up the process. I used a forcer bit to start the hole to make it neat and straight and then I came back with a standard drill bit to finish it off. dowels have dried you can come back and flush them up with a saw. Now time for the stressful part, the big glue up. I took my time to arrange the triangles together for the best fit, then applied glue and a lot of clamps. While that was drying I moved on to the legs and the shelf. To make the legs I cut a 2x4 in half lengthways. I then cut each end of the leg at a 60 degree angle and then each leg to their final length of 400mm. I knew I was going to reinforce the leg joint with dowels, so I went ahead and pre-drilled the holes in the legs on the drill press so I could ensure they were straight and all the holes were in the same spots. To make the shelf I resawed two pieces of offcuts in half to make them about 15mm thick. I then cut 30 degree angles on each side. The shelf comes out to be about 112mm in width. Once everything had dried I took everything out of clamps and blue tape and started the big job of sanding.
I hung the table between two sawhorses. This lowers its centre of gravity and makes it easier to sand. With everything now level, smooth and sanded to 220 grit, I moved to gluing on the legs. This may be the most stressful glue up in my making life to date. I cut some 60 degree angles on some scrap pieces of timber and then I could use them under the legs as support while the glue was drying. Again I used blue tape to hold everything in place. With the glue dried I finished drilling the holes and glued in the dowels. Once again I came back with a saw to flush them up. The last job before the final sand and finish was to glue in the shelf. With the final sand complete, I could now apply finish. I decided to put a white stripe across the tabletop to break the wood up a little and again add to the visual appeal. I score the lines with a Stanley knife before and after paint. This helps create a clean line when painting. With the paint dry, you can apply a couple of coats of Minwax's polyacrylic and then your side table is complete. A big thank you to the Modern Maker Podcast for issuing this challenge. This was a super fun build. If you like this video, be sure to hit those subscribe and like buttons so you don't miss out on my next video.